Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well and having a fantastic day. Red here and welcome back to another news video on Dune Spice Wars. And in this video, I want to focus on one particular house and that is House Atreides. Recently, we got an update on the Steam page, essentially a dev blog, if you will, where the developers speak about House Atreides and we get our first look at some of the leaders as well as some of the units. Now, just a side note, I've not gone through this myself yet, so I might pause in certain sections and then just talk about the stuff that I just read and then, you know, comment on certain screenshots or something like that and then continue with the article and maybe a double side note, if you will. I am a little bit sick at the moment, non-pandemic related, thankfully, so my voice is a little bit strange, so do bear with me on this one. But before I go any further, I am a content creator working with Demise, an international gaming community with millions of followers, known across the world. In collaboration, we have released a new clothing collection. I actually have one of the t-shirts as well as the hoodie and I absolutely love it, as it's not only comfortable but warm as well. Other items include caps, beanies, and so much more, and if you want a discount, then click the link below and use Red Tie Guy at checkout. Thanks to Demise for this opportunity, and now, let's get back to the video. So jumping straight into the Steam page, which I will link in the description below, introducing House Artredes. Meet one of the most important members of the Landstrad. Who are House Artredes? One of the most powerful houses in the known universe, honorable, efficient, and highly respected, there's little wonder why Baron Harkonnen considers them such a threat to his aspirations of power and control. Now looking above that, we essentially have a time lapse of sort of a city being constructed or expanded or upgraded, I'm not really sure if these buildings are part of the base building aspect of the game or if this is something that, you know, as your base evolves, as you get more, um, I don't know, maybe civilians or just more, as the population grows, maybe the buildings expand by itself. But looking at the buildings itself, some of them does look like maybe silos, maybe um, maybe barracks there at the top left. And in the front there at the end, you can see some sort of entryway, which I'm not really sure what that is. Maybe it's a just a way for, I don't know, maybe a way where you can, I don't, I'm not really sure. I can guess quite a few things, but... We'll have to wait and see until we get an actual, you know, somebody sitting down for uh, 10 minutes and just playing the game to really understand some of the mechanics of the game. But in any way, the article or the Steam page then continues, House Atreides is one of the great houses of the Imperium and an important member of Landsrod, the parliament that brings together the major and minor houses of the Imperium. The Atreides have ruled the lush oceanic planet called Kaladin for generations and lead their free fiefdom? fiefdom, I think that's freedom, that may be a spelling mistake or I'm reading fiefdom and I have no idea what that is, fiefdom with justice and honor. Now below that I see is a very important animation and that is Duke Leto Atreides. Here we get essentially our first look at Duke Leto Atreides in action and I'm guessing in between missions or you know maybe before or if you if you if you did choose him as one of your leaders or something like that maybe you know if you if you speak to the council if you go to the council for certain things then this animation will play and I do hope that they are fully voiced I don't remember reading anything about that yet but I do hope the characters are fully voiced because I would hate for them to have this really unique art style, this incredible animation, and then the character just stands there and then you having to read bulk of text. So I do hope that they will be fully voiced. Now, as for Duke Leto Atreides, his section goes, Duke Leto is a distinguished aristocrat, proud of the history of his house and his ducal prerogatives. He is a good commander who always has the well-being of his people firmly in mind, sometimes even to his determinant of the resources of his duchy. Though at times appearing harsh, inflexible, proud and authoritarian, he is widely considered a fair and loyal leader, and one who has earned and is worthy of respect. Now we also get a great look of the Artredius counselors, where we have Gurney Halleck, Thufur Hawat, Lady Jessica and Duncan Idaho. I do wonder if they will play, you know, you, we see Duke Leto animation here, so we will most likely, when we click the counselors, when we maybe select a specific counselor for a mission, or we might have, if we play House Artredius, we might have all of the counselors in the game, and each of them 
or you know specific to to like military or politics or something like that so if you click on a certain building then you can speak to lady jessica or if you click on a, a barracks or something like that then you might speak to duncan idaho or something like that but i do again i do like the the art style that they're going for it's a very unique and cartoonish look but with somewhat of a um not a realism in that sense but you can see that their hands are a bit if you look at the animation from duke let's Atreides, his hands are a bit big so it kind of reminds me of bioshock infinite in some way with their characters being a little bit out of proportion but anyway going on with the counselors each house can rely on their trusted counselors to manage their estate and further their goals as a player, you choose two of the four counselors when you start a game. Okay, so that answers my question. Essentially, you get to choose two counselors. So, for example, maybe Lady Jessica is good in politics and Duncan Idaho is good in military. So, you get a military bonus when you choose him as a counselor. But the article continues, allowing you to exemplify your house's strengths or mitigate its weaknesses. The Artredes can rely on War Master Gurney Halleck for military strategy, the Lady Jessica for political influence, the Mintat and Spymaster Thuver Hawat for economics and spying, and the legendary Swordmaster Duncan Idaho for expansion and combat proficiency. So again, that answers my question that I just asked. Maybe I should just read the entire paragraph before asking questions. So, you know, Lady Jessica is politics, Gurney Halleck is military strategy, um, Sufur Hawat is economics and spying, and Duncan Idaho is a swordmaster for expansion and combat proficiency. Here we get a new gif of some of the gameplay where we can see a drop strip essentially dropping some troopers. We can see a smaller town there in the center of the map and there are some units being dropped off before the shuttle just lifts off into space. One of the core strengths of the Atreides is their unparalleled political power. Their negotiation skills and their reputation for honor and loyalty allow many major and minor houses to place their confidence in them and in turn give them more power, allowing them to benefit from many advantages with regards to the laws of the reclamation of political power. On Arrakis, the Artredes can also rely on their skill and reputation to easily negotiate with the Fremen, giving them valuable advantages over the factions in the race to conquer the dangerous planet. So here we get our first essential look of some of the units, a proper look. We got some, some art essentially and we also got um, a few units in the gameplay but we didn't really know who they were. So like I said, here we get a proper, and this is the final part of the, the, the article by the way, the Steam page. Again, it is linked in the description below if you guys want to check it out yourself. So we get a first look at the Trooper, Rangers, Heavy Weapon Squad, Wardens and Support Drones. The Artredes are renowned for their exceptionally well-trained and doggedly loyal army with troops that are expensive but tough. They are designed, created and trained to last. Symbols of courage, loyalty and determination. The more populous and electric an Artredes army, the more effective it is. So as I said, we got our first look at the Trooper, Ranger, Heavy Weapon Squad, Warden and Support Drone. So for the Troopers, Armored swordsmen, exceptionally skilled in close combat and who work perfectly in tandem with their fellow troops. Rangers. Equipped with a long-range rifle, they are some of the best scouts and support units. Heavy weapon squad. Equipped with the best heavy weapons of the house, they are incredibly effective and breaching enemy defenses, alongside being one of the best anti-vehicle and anti-armor infantry on Arrakis. Wardens. The Warden are the elite troops of the Artredes army and the pride of the Duke. Adorning heavy armor and near impenetrable shields, they have garnered a reputation as near immortal fighters. And then finally, the Support Drone. Heavy mechanical units equipped with powerful ranged weapons. They are the flagship of the Artredes infantry, developed specifically to aid allies engage in hostile environments with supplies and aid. So, Overall, I do like the design of the units. I like the heavy weapon squads, I believe maybe the most, but I do like the shields of the Wardens. They are, look pretty, well, overall they look pretty powerful. And the support drone, I do hope we get some tanks and some, you know, some ground units in the future. But this is essentially our first look at some of the units of House Artredes. And overall, I feel pretty confident about this game. There's been a lot of doubt because this is a 4x RTS and not a traditional real-time strategy game like Command and & Conquer and like Dune 2 was back in the day. But you know, this is a unique take on the franchise and with 4x strategy games, it can be 
quite interesting to see the Dune IP being treated like this. And like I said, I do like the art style of the game. It does have somewhat a cartoonish feel to it, but with a semi-realistic touch at the end. But overall, I'm looking forward to this game when it goes into early access later this year. But let me know in the comments below what you think of this game and House are trading so far. But for more gaming content, check out the rest of my channel. And if you enjoyed this video, then give me a thumbs up. If you dislike it, then give me a thumbs down. But please tell me why so I can improve my videos. My name is Frank, I'm the Red Side Guy, and frankly, thank you for watching. Catch you guys in the next video.